Hello there and welcome to another Java tutorial and in this video we're gonna learn about logical operators in Java so let's get started now before this video we have learned about the if else statements now there we have learned how to check for conditions now there are many situations where we have to check for more complicated conditions so in order to check for more complicated conditions we need these logical operators uh, so in Java we have three logical operators uh, let me write those inside in, uh, in between comments so that you guys can see it so we have an operator first of all we have the AND operator and we write the AND operator as double ampersand sign okay then we also have the OR operator we write the OR operator as double pipe sign now the pipe sign is just below the backspace key of your keyboard okay just below the backspace key of your keyboard and you have to press shift to get this and we also have a NOT operator and we write the NOT operator as exclamation sign okay so we have three logical operators in Java the AND operator which is this the OR operator which is this and the NOT operator which is this now let's see how can we use these things in Java so inside if as you have seen that inside if we just put a condition we just put a condition we check for it if it's true if the condition is true then we do this then we do this stuff inside these braces so here after the in uh, after knowing about these logical operators we can check multiple conditions inside an if statements okay so first of all let us learn about this and operator so suppose we have two conditions so first of all we write the condition one then we write the and operator and operator and then we write condition two and then we do this so if condition one is true and condition two is true only then we'll do this okay so if condition one is true and condition is two is true that means if both of them are true only then we do this if one of them are false one of them is false then we don't do this we just skip this okay so let's learn that with an example suppose I have a val variable a and the value of it is 3 and I have a value variable B and the value of it is 5 so let me check if a let me put it inside if a is less than 5 and b is greater than 3 then I wanna print system.out.println yo so what this will check is it will check if a is less than 5 yes a is less than 5 and B is less than 3? Yes, B is less than 3. So let's go and do this. So let's run this now. As you can see, uh, it prints yo. So that means this condition is true and this condition is also true. That is why this is executing this. Now let me go and uh, make one of these conditions false. Suppose I make the value of A 6. So now a is not less than 5. a is 6, so a is not less than 5. So one of these conditions is false. So one of these conditions is false now. So this will check if this is true. No, it is not true. So don't execute this. Now if I run it, it will not print anything. Okay. Now if I run it, as you can see, this will not print anything because one of these conditions is false. And according to the logic of this AND operator, if one of these false, it doesn't execute this. Okay, so this is the AND operator. Now let us learn about the OR operator. So let's in between put OR operator. This is OR. So what OR does is it checks if this is true or this is true, then do this. So if one of these conditions is true, maybe one of these conditions is true, maybe other one is true, one is false, or maybe both of them is true, only uh, then we execute this. So, uh, in order to, uh, in order for the OR operator to execute this, one of these conditions needs to be true. Only one, not two. Okay. In case of AND, we had to uh, 
check for that both of these conditions to be true but in case of the OR operator only one of them needs to be true. So here as you can see that A is not less than 5 so the first condition is uh, it's freezing again uh, so the first condition is not true but the second condition is indeed true so according to the for according to the properties of our operator this should uh, this should execute and write yo so let me run now as you can see it prints yo so this is our operator if one of them is true just do this now finally let us write about let us learn about the not operator so what is not operator is it just checks if not a greater than 5 okay let me put it inside another semicolon uh, another parenthesis okay so what this will do is a is greater than 5 yes a is greater than 5 but we have put a not inside it so it becomes if not a greater than 5 then do this but a is greater than 5 so it will not do this so let me run it now as you can see it doesn't do anything now if I write this uh, a is less than uh, a is less than 5 now you know that a is 6 so a is greater than 5 so this condition is false but since we have put a not before this so this will check if not a less than 5 yes a is not less than 5 then do this now if I run it as you can see it prints here so this was the very basics of logical operators in Java I hope you guys uh, learned something and enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just write those in comments and I'll be happy to answer all those questions. So thank you very, very much for watching and please, uh, please, please subscribe and like this video and share it and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.